23rd of June. Um, it's about half past 10 in the morning and already mid 20s. Um, it's about 25 due to be 27, 28 today. Um, so we're a week on from the last time. Here's the Brins. Um, some are really flying away, others aren't so much, which I'm not really bothered about in a sense, just let them stagger themselves. The ones on the end there are uh, John Hill. These are the um, on the venture again. And that plant. We've now got three shoots sitting down there, just about poking out the ground. Um, so I'm quite happy with that. Walter Hardsley, Mari Gold, so you can see the ones that were chopped back last week and the ones that were chopped back the week before. Um, not too panicked about the size of the shoots on some of these because of, there's smaller ones underneath and those few there are yet to be cut back today. Um, so hopefully things are working. This is um, Alva Supreme and most it's been stopped as you can see and we've got these two big shoots they were the two that are left at the bottom of the stem um, just in case it didn't throw any more um, but when we go digging in we can see we've got three shoots probably four here actually coming from underground albeit so some of these big ones so i'll probably get the knife out today um, and cut those two big shoots off and let the energy go into the others. These are probably going to be far too early. Those on Alvis, I would say are probably about right. <laughs> he says I would say I'm purely guessing but I know it's not the earliest of varieties. Um, but I think you know that's the way I'll be working those shoots. So it seems like the cutting down has been encouraging them to shoot out and most of the plants seem to be showing signs of that and others won't be far behind. Valentine, um, again we've got some plants that have just got shoots coming, odd ones from underneath and hopefully more to come, and others that have got quite big shoots, but um, again, none of those, or only one of those is from underground, so hopefully more will appear shortly. Um, those are Armand's Climax, Let's see, uh, Sir Alf, Cheryl Greta, um, I'm not sure what that is over there, I can never remember, oh that's Maybelline, that is the white one, Mingus Whitney, Go American, uh, Cheryl Peach, again, big bud on there but these three plants are due for a chop today. Emery and Relish, been a bit slow to throw from underneath. Um, they've got these purple stems, but if we dig down far enough, you can just see there's a shoot coming out there from underground, so, and two others still on the stem, just. So at least we've got the three in the same there. Two, one down there, hopefully more. Looks like there's one coming around the back of that stem as well so I'll just keep winkling them out until we get down to three and then adjust accordingly um, that is the other one I always forget um, look on the label Rihanna Tammy so they've been cut back and are flying away those ones yet to cut kids climax again sort of strip the stem back and you can see all of these in varying sizes from sort of one little leaf upwards are all coming out from underground so um, right, again I'll thin them down as time goes along and then we've got uh, a fair waste fair so generally they're all doing well it's bloody hot but I think they'll uh, cope with it they've just had a feed um, this morning, so it's the sweet corn, and that's a bed of trimies, 
um, which I've got the other plant to cut back and the pot tubers behind. Um, so they all had liquid feed of uh, just an organic um, balanced feed, a bit like Metsa crop, with a little bit more in it. Um, and they're two gallons between three plants, and they'll probably get the same again next week. Um, and through uh, July, really, I'll just keep with that. Um, seems to be doing the trick so far. All right, see you next week. This is a plant of Rihanna Tammy. Um, excuse my shadow on it, but I can't get the other side. Um, it looks a bit sort of jumbled. That's because effectively the shoots are all coming from underground and the original bit of the plant. So what I've been starting to do, and I don't suggest you do this on fat stemmed ones, but I've been actually going in there with a knife, delicately. I don't look that delicate, but it's a one-handed technique. And actually cutting the main stem and the main plant. So that was a bit that was stopped and the side shoots removed. Leaving literally just a, a stub, if you can see that. Just a stub in there and the three shoots that are coming out the ground. There is a fourth one down there. And I'm hoping there'll be another one or two so I can actually uh, remove some of these because I think they're going to be a bit too early. But um, no point leaving the top bit up that hasn't got any shoots if I can take it out without damaging the, the plant or opening up too big a hole um, that's potentially going to rot. But these will be some interesting uh, tubers when I dig them up because they're gonna, all going to have multiple stems coming out the crown. But we shall see. This is also around the Tammy. Um, and these are a couple of plants that I haven't stopped yet. So this is a tail end um, of stopping and it's given me an interesting concept that I've got to try and work out is most of the shoots that you see are already coming out from under the ground even though the top of the plant actually hasn't budded or it's just about budded. And that's probably what happens when you, when you bury it. So I'm going to do a bit of a operation on this just as a test I'm going to cut the if I can, main part of the plant out so, so we've removed most of that and you can see it's left us with a sort of crown we've got that bit still on the stem that one still on the stem it's quite woody stems on this variety. Um, now, while I'm stopping this at the 23rd of June or whatever it is, I think it's 23rd, 24th, there's no chance that those four shoots that are there are going to um, hold on to the flower um, for the end of August, first week of September. So it's effectively going to be a double stop to these shoots I can't actually see any pairs of leaves I'll better show you any... Wednesday the 1st of July another week on these are the brins that are absolutely flying away now so there's every chance they're going to be Needing a knockback, um, I didn't knock that plant them underground, so most of the stuff is all coming off the sort of bottom of the top of the plant. Um, so I haven't got many choices there. They are oh, absolutely motoring, and it doesn't really worry me. It's such a big variety. I'll whack it down at four and uh, knock them back if I need to. Um, there are some there, this is Louis White that. Um, aren't as advanced and as the old plant and amongst them that aren't so I should be able to see what natural and knockback difference is this is um, John Hill and again I've labelled the canes as I showed you the 10th so that plant stops on the 10th and I imagine most of those are coming out from down down below if not under 
um, but there are some smaller shoots in amongst each plant that I can sort of take the bigger ones out and leave the smaller ones if need be. Um, this is with Bonaventure. So again, the one's done on the 10th. And there is a difference. Um, something like this was done on the 10th as a, and leaving two shoots low down. That's these big, big ones here. Um, but the ones like this are coming out from below ground. So I'll probably be able to get in there and uh, whittle some out. And there's some other bits that are still coming from the leaf axles. I couldn't have cleaned them out properly. This is the one that I completely stripped uh, down the floor also on the 10th. Um, and you can see there is plenty of growth. There's a couple poking up there. And one there, all coming out from the bottom. But there's also plenty of younger stuff. And I imagine those are going to be pretty spot on, I would hope, for first week of September. That's me odd uh, caught in the Olympic. There's one at the end of every bed. Um, so that's Bonaventure. Those ones there, those three, um, I, chopped, I stopped them um, on the 23rd, so that was last week. And again, you know, there's not much life coming from them yet, but um, there's signs from, from below. So hopefully if they're early, they won't be. If they're early, um, then I really need to add some time into it. Uh, so that's the end of the Bonaventure. That's the Walter Harsley and the Hamari Gold. Um, obviously being an early one, the back ones there were stopped last week. And if we, <laughs> doesn't look a lot going on there, but underneath here is shoots. And there's some serious, um, run out of space on the camera so I had to delete a few files so that's the um, Amari Gold this is um, Alvis and they're bloody excuse the language, huge um, now they have got again uh, plants like this rubbish so there is one, two, three four five, six, seven shoots coming out from underneath so I'll probably hook out some of the bigger ones and the very smallest um, and thin that that plant out um, others I haven't got a lot of choice on I've got two big ones and one smaller one but it does look like another shoot just coming at the base of there um, so if I need to reduce the timing or delay the timing I can take one or two of those big ones out. Um, so although the plants do look uh, advanced, there are options still on them. There's another Alpha Supreme. So they're two foot apart the plants, so they are big old plants. Um, and again, shoots powerful from low, low down, not quite all underground on that one, but this one coming up here. Um, certainly is so I shall thin that one out um, Almond's Climax again we've got them at different stages and uh, Alpha Ramsey um, that one's gone bonkers but these two uh, are from big shoots are from the, the main plant so I will actually just remove them quite a chunk um, and I'll do the other one when I get to the other side but we've got these three here um, I know Ramsey's not, not an early one, um, but we've got these three shoots that are all from underneath um, that I'll leave. These are all out for Ramsey. So again, some big bull plants at the top, but it's, it's this stuff in here um, that I'm looking for. Um, Cheryl Gritter, or Greta, um, again, quite hard on the top of the plant. Falls over, um, but there is the shoot underneath there coming through, and they look um, a bit lusher. But I think it's just the, the way the variety is. Um, this is 10 of them, those are the Mark Hardwick. A couple there look particularly dark, but those are coming through. I'm quite sure where the rest of the shoots on that one are going to come from, but 
there's only one big one coming out from under Valentine in various stages going down to the ones that are just coming through it's a bit different we're normally trying to get all the batches of plants all the same and all the same stage this year I'm trying to do the opposite and sort of stagger them um, so this would be Go American again we've got that through to that depending on when they were stopped um, if they haven't got a white ticket on it then they were stopped on the 17th Mingus Whitney very well advanced Maybelline just starting to wake up they sit there and then these uh, shoots appear from underneath the plant and I have to get the straw down probably next week and then get the canes in and oh, that's when I strip through um, ones like this we'll need looking at because they've got probably too many shoots coming in underneath there that's um, pink peach amaran relish and cheryl peach again in various stages um, this is fairway spur never looks particularly good I have grown an old plant before early on and then it comes through not convinced that that one there is a fairway spur but we shall see um, kids climax really advanced one there that really did rump away from from the knockback so or the chop back so I might have to do some knocking back on that one because there weren't that many shoots and then the uh, Rihanna Tammy and uh, those are the two that I absolutely butchered last week and chopped most of the main plant out but as you can see there's some plenty of shoots coming and I'll see how late they actually are it's a good test that marks it 23rd on the stick so I know when I've done it um, and I'll just have to watch this again to see but generally plants are starting to, to motor and I think we'll probably see the same again next week um, and this is the also rounds of two plants of each um, in that bed that I'm just having a look at so this is the other 18 varieties pot tubers are starting to pad up I've got a Zorro I think over there that's just about to spring open and the veg is growing stronger um, Mitz has been uh, keeping an eye on this I do run out of time but um, this is her project that's doing well Wednesday the 8th of July actually had a bit of rain overnight um, not much, just a drizzle most of the night and the plants are absolutely flying now aren't they? You know, two weeks start of this video would have been two weeks ago although it was three videos ago um, and the plants are moving so a quick run through again these are the brins so we've got the first ones are um, eggy white then we've got brin turfle we've got one plant there that didn't really want to get away um, <laughs> the pile of stuff there was me a couple of days ago just going through this left hand row and stripping out some big shoots um, to try and sort of delay them a bit um, the brins I don't mind knocking back um, I'd rather you know everyone's telling me how slow they are to bud and how late they can be so they got stopped on the 10th of uh, June um, and off they went that's uh, John Hill um, again, we've got varying plants. We've got some with big shoots, not so big, smaller, about the same that one and that one there, just sort of poking out from underneath. So I've tried to get a stagger on the plants where possible. Um, that's my oddball caught an Olympic at the end of each row. Bonaventure, so I've gone through these ones um, and stripped some back. Well, that's got a big shoot there there is hopefully one there and one the other side of the plant um, that are smaller and those ones there they're just starting to poke up from underneath plant like that I probably want to flower in about or bud in about a week or so's time so I'll have to <coughs> deal with that and knock it back um, 
that side I've yet to yet to go through so I'm hoping I'll be able to strip that plant down to smaller shoots. Uh, this is Water Hardsley. Again you can see you've got six or seven shoots on that plant and only threes on these. Amari Gold. And I'm hoping a plant like that see there's lots more trying to come up from underneath but um, a plant like that um, will get me to the show on time um, these massive plants here are the um, Alvis this is Alvis Supreme and they've really took off so I'll be getting into them today and trying to see if I can delay them uh, this is Armand's Climax and uh, Sir Ralph Ramsey. That one I had to tie up. I, I stripped off some brakes and then the wind come in. We've had a very a lot of wind this last week and rattled it about and took me down to two up. And hopefully another one will appear soon. Um, these are the Sherwell Greeter. Those ones are Mark Hardwick. Um, some big powerful shoots on them. Valentine, again. Got to go get amongst these and uh, see if I can find some smaller shoots, certainly on them ones. Where are these ones along here, I don't think they're going to be too problematic. I think they're going to come about the right sort of time for me. It's the only variety I've got any experience of, really. Um, and they're about right for me, I think. Then we've got Go American. They've been a bit slow to really put some uh, muscle on but they, they're starting to now this is Mingus Whitney again needs um, sorting through and Maybelline finally just starting to appear out from under the foliage then we've got Pink Peach I have started to have a little fiddle around with some of them reducing them down and I'll have a good go at some of these others no, I might show you that later. Um, Amarone Relish. And then um, Cheryl Peach. And we've got Fairway Spur. I've got a sneaking suspicion that that one there isn't Fairway Spur, but we'll find out what it is. Kids Climax, absolutely huge. Um, I'm going to go, go digging in there and seeing what I can find or uh, there are going to be some knockbacks on there and then we've got uh, Rihanna Tammy and those are the two plants that we butchered um, I can't remember if it was last week or the week before I think it was a week before you can see there's some shoots coming there so I'll thin them down to, to three and see what happens um, but yeah, they are absolutely flying, um, certainly in this last two weeks. They've uh, exceeded my growth expectations. I've now got to try and hold on to them. Um, but for me, I think the theory, if I'm going to have to knock them back, that's fine. Um, taking a look at one of these. Um, this is the Kids Climax. As you can see, there's some powerful shoots in there and they're all coming from beneath ground level so if I have to knock one of these back and run a side shoot on it it's probably not really any different to having a single stem stopping it and letting three or four come off it as far as size that's my theory um, <laughs> that's what I'm going to stick to because I've got no other choice but um, we shall see and these are the, the also rains the bits and pieces so there's about 16 um, varieties in here and I'm having a bit of play around with these that one looks a bit of a mess because I chopped it back in uh, nearly 30 degrees worth of heat so it's in it of leaves but as you can see there's nice fresh shoots in there coming up um, and hopefully they're better ones to to flower I think that's fairway pilot and that's the one that was stopped on the 10th this one was done two weeks later, so I put a two-week stagger between these plants. There's only two plants of each. Same there, 
two week stagger. Um, I don't remember what that one is. That's Gene Shaw. And that's Gene Shaw, but they're two weeks apart. So it'll give me some idea of, of where the, the flowering's going to come from. Um, that one there, I haven't got a clue what it is. Didn't have a label, but I'd obviously selected it out as being one to uh, have a look at. So I've just sort of let it let it come and we'll find out what it is. <laughs> um, just in case I haven't got any other plants anywhere else. That's one plant of Millie um, from Gabby Hayes. Oh, it's Gabby Hayes' variety. Um, let's see if I can get it anywhere near giant size. So that was a, a small plant planted. You can see it stopped out and these shoots are basal growths. Um, there's a couple more in there. And we'll see how big it can be, whether it's a, a, a natural large or maybe giant. And the pot tuber bed is <laughs> starting to bud up. I know you're not supposed to let them flower, but it's nice to see a bit of colour sometimes. Um, and I've got to try and work out what some of these varieties are. Um, that's probably a water hardersley, I'd imagine, if it's um, white and up the end. That'd be Zorro. I've planted them in alphabetical order. So this is some stock of Winholm um, dying that I'm just keeping hold of as a pot tuber. Um, and there's only three, three non-giants in here, Winholm, um, Challenger, Mary's, and sitting somewhere down here, about that four. Um, there we go, let's go at the twilight. So I've just kept the my main sort of stock ticking along with the others. You never know, just in case they're needed. But there's a lot of buds coming, and it's nice to have a bit of colour and see some of these um, fright is coming out. I'm guessing that's probably pink peach, um, all sorts <laughs> as they come. I'm not sure where that really dark red one is in there. Um, I'll have to work out the alphabet and think what it might be. But there's the plot. There's one um, dahlia I'll probably give too much feed to. I'll look at her. The rhubarb that got some while it was uh, getting done and the veggies really flying along there as well um sweet corn some brassicas over there while the beans are finally waking up tomatoes and courgettes onions and beetroot right let's get working on these plants we're going to get another feed today and um, we've been getting the feed once sometimes twice a week but i've been doing it different using just a organic feed as a balanced feed something along the lines of maxi crop but not quite um, and I've been doing it twice a week but at half the recommended dose so I'm not just feeding and then watering two days later or the next day where it's been so hot and just washing it through the ground they've been getting two feeds one after the other but at half strength so when, when feeding <coughs> they don't just get a little bit they get quite a bit so it's one can or one two gallon can um, between three plants and you can see the point of the the well there um, meaning that it's not running off down the thing and this is the uh, balanced feed at half strength so it's a nice chocolatey brown colour but it's um, half the recommended it, when, it, when you use it what it says uh, it comes out a bit like um, dark chocolate instead of light chocolate or milk but um, yeah they don't get a splash of feed they're getting one two gallon can between three plants so these are some um, almonds climax you can see the ones that I've um, put a string round I've gone through um, and reduced some he fairly hefty brakes that the dog's looking after um, and took them down to like there three shoots just coming out um, and I hope they'll be okay so this is a bit of a classic example I suppose <laughs> of one there's some big powerful brakes here um, but looking inside there's some others so I would guess that these two are the two that are left um, on the stem we're going to find out Oh, they pull off. So 
So that's that one gone. <laughs> um, there's no bud in there yet, but it, it probably wouldn't be that far away. Um, and I reckon this one is, is the same. I'm going to have to change hands on the camera to get in there. Because I don't want to break it. the one that's next to it. It's just coming out the ground. Come out. That's that one gone. That's another trunky shoot. Most people, I suppose, if they were coming off the plant, that's what they'd be flowering. I'm trying to do it a little differently. Um, so we've now got literally no stems coming off the original plant. And just so I can see it, I'm just taking some of these older leaves off the main stem. I can actually see what I'm dealing with now. Now there's a shoot over the back there, this one. That looks like I've um, chopped the top out of when I was cutting the top first top off. So I'm going to just cut that off. And then there was four. As you can see, these are all coming right out from below ground. Um, and I'm just gonna set, leave one of these two, probably take that one off. <sighs> Looked like it was the highest one up. We've now got three. One, two, three. Now hopefully all that energy that was going into that lot I'm going to those three um, and I think these will be slightly better timed um, where are we seventh so another two and a half three weeks I'd want to see some buds in there for a bank holiday show and another week on top um, for the SDDS show or national timing um, but at least if I'm having a knock back, I'm knocking back something that's got its own root system. And as I said, sort of intimated before, that I think then we're only really dealing with the same as growing a break off the main plant or free breaks off the main plant. Um, but we will see. It's all trial and error um, this year. A lot of you lot know a lot more than I do about these uh, giants and these varieties, but I like to have a have a way and try and stick to it. All right, so I'll carry on with this, put a bit of string around there, and I'll see you in a few weeks' time. Good luck. When you pull these out of the ground, this is just a big one off of um, the Maori Gold. You can see on the stem, there's white flecks where their root nodules are just about to uh, start to break out. So hopefully, the ones that I've left, the smaller ones, that's what's going to happen.